Office Space in Town offers beautifully designed flexible workspace solutions which are well located and fully equipped for business. Their buildings are refurbished to the highest standard, led by an experienced design team to create stimulating working environments for organisations of all sizes. Developments Director Simon Eastlake tells us more about the business from the design process through to the innovations they use to support wellbeing. What's special about your office spaces? Well, here at Office Space in Town, we have 11 locations around the country, uh, two in Cardiff, two in Northampton, and seven in central London, all within zone one. What makes them special? I, I would say location being the first, they are all very close to main transport hubs, really within five minutes of the zone one tube station. That's one of the um, criteria we have when we pick buildings. One of the other big things, particularly for the buildings in London, is that we spend a lot of time thinking about fit out and each individual building is themed differently. And we try and pick up something from their local area to make them different and believe that is really important for clients. Just make us stand out in a crowded marketplace. What also makes us special, I think, is the the space we give for clients. So. We own our buildings, which does enable us to allow um, more space for common areas. We also give more space for individuals within their office. So on average, we're a minimum of 50 square feet per person within office space. And across the entire building, we tend to be about 65% office space, 35% communal area. And now this allows us to um, give great communal space for clients and also set aside some um, great space for meeting rooms. And we have a, a very um, thriving meeting room and conferencing business. Also, several of our locations are award winning, most recently being our new Blackfriars building, 22 Tudor Street, um, which has recently won um, Office Interior of the Year Award at the International Property Awards. How do you create such inspiring workplaces? Well, we work um, very closely with a designer called Sam Koch. She has designed um, all of our buildings within central London. Um, as I said earlier, one of the big things is all the buildings are individually themed um, for their location. Our well, monument building, for instance, is right on the River Thames, and from its roof bar you can see HMS Belfast. So the thought was we would make that nautical themed, and Sam, our designer, I went and spent a day down with Sunseeker um, looking at um, some of their luxury yachts and really trying to pick up cues of what you could do with the design there. And we have various meeting rooms called the Hull and the Keel um, and the Cabin. And we also have hotel rooms over there which are called the Cabins as well. So, And we have then the deck on the roof which is our, our bar and, and it overlooks the tent as I said earlier. So that's Great, and we have our Waterloo building, which um, is actually in the old hatting district of London, and uh, the word mad as a hatter uh, came from when people worked in the hatting industry, and that's where the Alice in Wonderland theme came from. Also inspiring, um, it's not just the design of our buildings, it's also our staff. Um, culture and ethos, we are a service industry, uh, a service business after all, so we do spend a lot of time developing the culture with our staff and ethos. We're very much a family business and we did win Family Business of the Year last year. Um, it is most important that the clients are looked after and we can give them great design spaces, but if things don't work and staff aren't great, then ultimately they will leave. So we do spend a lot of time developing and making sure that our staff really do look after our clients. How do people react to the spaces? I think when people first come to the building, particularly for their first viewing, they can be a bit blown away by them. We are very different to anything else is out, is out there. Some people don't always like it, but not everything is for everyone. I would say what we do within our buildings and the design and everything like that, it's when a client first comes in and they're looking at moving in, um, they can see the benefits of what we do. Um, for attraction of talent for themselves. Uh, people want to work in great locations. Um, we spend a lot of time on um, 
well-being and promoting well-being within our buildings, which clients can then promote themselves. Also, as we said, because we focus on service, we currently have an average client length of stay of 40 months within our building. So clients don't leave, they stay with us for a long time. And um, we've got clients from two to 70 people across the across the portfolio. Some of those guys have actually been with us longer and our, our biggest client started off with six in our monument building and they're now in our lovely Blackfriars building um, and will have been with us eight years by the time uh, their current contract comes to an end. So that's fantastic. Um, when we look back at our feedback online, um, we have hundreds of five-star Google reviews, so proves the staff are doing something right. Um, and over, overall, I think the client satisfaction is excellent and they really do give us very, very positive feedback, which is great. What features do you use to support wellbeing in the workplace? Well, as Developers Director, I'm particularly interested in wellbeing and wellness. Certainly over the last few years, that has very much come to the forefront and I've been um, really pushing and looking at what we can do to improve that across all of our buildings and have certainly put some new stuff into our most recent building on Blackfriars as well. So really starting back at the design stage, um, one of the big parts is giving people more space, as I said earlier. Um, if on average we give a minimum of 50 or 45 to 50 square feet per person. Um, probably 99% of our offices have natural light and that's what we always aim to provide. Um, also across the portfolio, every room we have is individually air conditioned so a client has control over their, um, their own office's temperature. Um, and one of the other big things we've always done is invest a lot in soundproofing in rooms as well. It's a big part of well-being when you're when you're sat at, sat at work. On top of that, um, particularly in our newest building, I've installed started installing um, different wellness technologies, one of them being dynamic glass in all the windows. And the windows do away with blinds and, and, and tint automatically depending on where the sun is. So there is always natural light within rooms. It's very interesting with the first installation of that within the UK. It um, comes from a company called View based in America. And that's quite an exciting uh, product we have here. Also across the group, um, um, we are starting to look at rolling out sit-stand desks and have those as standard in our Blackfriars buildings. We're starting to promote them elsewhere. We do have a feeling that that will become more and more the norm in the future. Um, and one of the other big things that we do across the group is promote fitness classes. So we, we do yoga, we have mob fit come in and do a variety of boxing classes, um, circuit classes, um, massage, etc. Um, and that's, a, that's become a, a big part. And again, in our new Blackfriars building, we have actually built a bespoke fitness studio. We promote um, cycling um, and have shower facilities and a free towel service for all clients. Um, I believe that is also incredibly important. I'm certainly looking at the possibility in, over in the future of um, seeing if we have the ability to get a well standard or an efficient well standard as well. Um, one of the uh, big part of the buildings as well is um, if we can, we have and do provide outside spaces. So that is uh, natural, natural air and natural light is a big, is a big part. How are you preparing for a post-COVID world? Obviously, we're now in a position that uh, we can open again, and we are open. Some of the stuff we've put in place, practicality is we have signage everywhere, we put sneeze screens on reception, we have hand sanitation points all around the building. Um, we have reduced meeting room capacity for when meeting room businesses do come back. Um, and one of the other big things that I was particularly passionate about, because we have a well, as a company, we're quite passionate about environmental issues. I was particularly worried about the Perspex screen boom, uh, because in three months' time, or four months' time, or whenever it is, they will all, all just end up in landfill, and then there'll be a lot of plastic out there, which we were all trying to reduce beforehand. So one of the big things we found here is um, I found a supplier that provides cardboard screens for desks. Now, they actually, the virus actually lasts 
let on less time on cardboard than it does on plastic and these are designed to last four or five months and then um, are 100% recyclable so particularly happy with that um, I suppose one of the big challenges is is balancing uh, in our beautiful buildings lots of horrible signage and sanitation points but I think we've really covered that off by putting careful consideration into the products and what we're putting back and we are starting to see clients come back into the building and I've been particularly impressed by the measures we have put in place including and we worked very hard on putting a whole booklet back on on what we've done and how people can protect themselves. What does the future hold for office space in town? An interesting question. I think three weeks ago there was the death of the office and everyone was working from home. Um, That narrative I think has changed and from a flexible office space I think we're in a great position to benefit from a a slight time of uncertainty. Um, We can provide space from two people to 70 so we can allow people to expand into or we can take people that need to take temporary space while they while they work out what's going on there with their business. So so from that point of view, we're expecting the marketplace to be pretty good over the next six to 12 months. I think from our side, we are looking to expand and we'll continue to looking look to expand. So we are really um, currently looking at buildings to purchase in central London um, and we will continue to do that. We're really looking for buildings from 30,000 square feet to 100,000 square feet. So. Although it has been uncertain um, and we have lost some clients, we are also still uh, gaining new clients now and certainly see there being a very positive future for the flexible, um, flexible office industry.